My father's family were fishermen for 250 years. And yet, almost none of them could swim. They lived in an island, and the sea helped them to survive the famine. It's held me for as long as I can remember. And I feel so fortunate that I can explore the ocean in a way that they never could. In my time as an underwater cameraman, I found wonder in the undersea world around Ireland. And the more I look, the more I realise how little I've seen so far. But after so many years in the shallow seas, I've been drawn out to the mystery of the open ocean, the real deep water. As we journey further and deeper out into the Atlantic, we encounter places that are virtually unexplored, new worlds teeming with rare and wonderful life. It won't be easy heading out into the vast Atlantic in a small boat. Voyages into the unknown. But I'll have help from a few intrepid people at the cutting edge of ocean exploration, who are discovering life at the extreme limits of survival. Creatures that no one has ever seen. Right here on Ireland's doorstep. Spent the last 10 or 11 years in these seas around Ireland with my camera, trying to document and interpret what I see. And for me, the underwater world in Ireland is incredible. From the beautiful, colorful, macro creatures to the whales. The humpback whales, minky whales, fin whales. And the real holy grail is blue whales. They're blue whales out here, 60, 100 kilometers out in the deep ocean, in Irish waters. But how do you get out there? I mean, it, it's terrifying. You go there in a rib or a sailing boat, keeps me awake at night sometimes. I'm not the first Irishman to dream about exploring the open ocean in a small boat. One and a half thousand years ago, St. Brendan left these shores in a cowskin boat with a small hardy crew and made it to the Faroe Islands, almost a thousand miles to the north. And I'm struck by these men and their incredible spirit of adventure and tales of great sea monsters. We've so much more technology today, but what hasn't changed are the moods of the North Atlantic. The inherent contradiction between its darkness and fertility. Over the next two years, I'm determined to explore Ireland's deep Atlantic waters to see what animals I can find. But no matter how prepared I am, in the end, the ocean will decide all the outcomes. Heading west into the open Atlantic, the water quickly deepens, which brings about fertility in the ocean. Then, 100 kilometers out, the seabed falls off to 3,000 meters, the edge of the continental shelf, all of which is within Ireland's territory, 10 times the size of our landmass. The shelf edge is a place that's almost unknown, but an oasis of life in the open ocean. Ultimately, this is where I hope my voyages will bring me because I think it's where we'll have the best chance of meeting the great whales. <laughs>